What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the MG Modified Tour here on... Sorry, I had to move. Here on NBC. Getting ready to kick things off from the borough. North Wilkesboro Speedway. North Carolina. Good old NC. This will be a track that's put on the Southern Modified Tour schedule next season. But anyway, oh boy, that's not a good sign for the frames to be dropping like that, but the green flag is waving. We are racing at North Wilkesboro. I'm not sure why the frames are absolutely terrible right now, but we're going to try and wait it out as they're all over each other on the back straightaway, and Brian Pack gets spun around, bringing out an early caution in this or, or no we're still green Ted Christopher the race leader the other 36 behind them is LW Miller and oh boy more contact being made down the back straight away this will be a, a barky event for the southern modified boys it's not quite a marquee event yet just due to how many tracks are already on the schedule but with the history of this racetrack a lot of drivers do want to win here and that's why it'll be considered a marquee event next season for the southern modifies it'll be a crown jewel but these northern guys want to have a chance to win here as well so definitely part of the schedule they will miss having but goodness if I could figure out why my frames are dropping like this because I keep this ain't good y'all hang on I'm gonna pause for... all right I, I really can't figure out what it is sorry y'all but I'm back and we are still racing at North Wilkesboro we're gonna have to try and just roll through it for now because god that is awful absolutely terrible I hate to see it um, I got one more idea in mind. Hang on. All right, I'm back. I tried a little something. Um, I probably skipped the lap, but and it probably going and it probably ain't gonna work. But it is what it is. Um, yeah, We're here in North Wilkesboro, just kind of riding along. We're cruising for now, but uh, yeah, lots of aggressive racing. Towards the midfield, cruising up front, and terrible frame rate issues during this recording. I'm not sure why. Again, I'm usually good, but I keep dropping frames randomly here and there. So, you know, it's really annoying. But we gotta work through it. Otherwise, we'll never have this video recorded. So, I'm just gonna. You know, have to ignore it, and I apologize to you guys uh, watching this video if it bothers you, but hopefully it doesn't take away from the amazing racing we're having on the racetrack here from North Wilkesboro. I do have videos uploading in the background right now that may be part of the problem. One of them actually just finished uploading, and I noticed a visible improvement in frame rate, so definitely might be that might be something that's playing into it but i'm just trying to get this content out for you guys so yeah uh i do believe tony hirschman is a lap down no he's not he's on the lead lap just really far off the pace must have gotten into the wall or something but car seems fine he's still rolling lw miller at this point is trying different lines to catch and possibly pass ted christopher he continues to lead this race he's peeking out and now trying to arc it back in diamonds the corner a little bit and got a great run right to the rear bumper of the 36 car can he move him out of the way he's gonna lay the bumper to him just a little bit there got that 36 to slide up now 36 on 36 violence here down the back straight away as we have a battle for the lead lw miller is gonna take it from ted christopher off turn number four 
and lead that lap this time by. Here comes the 14 of Bobby Hutchins to his inside as well. Hutchins trying to clear, can't quite do it that time by as we head back down into three and four. Hutchins on the inside, he's gonna clear him this time. And this is allowing Tim Brown to work his way into the mix as well. Or is it Tyler Brown? Hang on. Okay, so I'm back and can confirm, yes, that is his name, Tim Brown. I'm getting it right. Uh, I noticed for the past series, last, or this season. Oh, God, here comes the frame rate issues again, but whatever. For the past series, guys, I said a lot of people's names wrong. And a little bit of the truck drivers as well. Uh, I've said a lot of guys' names wrong. And can't have that here on the channel. So, yeah. We're going to make sure we're calling people the right names at this point. But Tim Brown in the 83, faster than the 14 of Hutchins. He's right on his rear bumper as well. And he's going to look to make a move, a little bit of a tap down in the 3 and 4 there. Letting them know he's there. It's become off of turn number 4 yet again. We've got this great angle from the crowd here in North Wilkesboro. Packed house. These fans love seeing some modified action. Here on the famed classic oval. It's nice seeing the MG Cup Series and Money Car Grand National Series here as well. As the 14 of Hutchins trying a different line yet again. Seeing drivers switch things up, trying something new, trying something different. But L.W. Miller's just gone. He's got the fastest lap time of the race. So far. 16 of Mike Stefanik. That's the second fastest, but he's Meyer back in the, in the seventh position. Further back in traffic, just... Trying to hang on. It's the 07 of Frank Fleming. Gets a run on him down the front stretch. Thought about making a move. Couldn't get there. Side by side through turns one and two. You see Gene Pack and Brian King going at it. But yeah. Things starting to cool down. Still clean and green here from North Wilkesboro. We'll take a break, uh, quick break. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to the borough here from North Wilkesboro with the late models. Now this video was supposed to be up at around the same time MG Cup and Money Car Grand National ran here, but uh, kind of forgot this one was in the chamber, so yeah. Um, oh. We got a... Uh, Oh wow, in the chamber, I just realized what I said. That is uh, not a good reference. I had this one in the vault, rather. So yeah, I'm going ahead and recording it now and let's see what brought out the caution. I believe last race, the winner of the pre, uh, I don't know, the last race at, uh, uh, you know what, I'll probably put this up for New Hampshire. So never mind. I'm not saying who won New Hampshire, but we got multiple drivers involved, and looks like Chris Mack, James Savali, and Zach Sylvester got collected there, trying to avoid a slowing Brian King on the front straightaway, which is what brought out first caution of the race. All right, let's double it back up and kick things back off here from North Wilkesboro. Just over 20 to go. Here we go. Green flag back in the air. We're racing yet again at North Wilkesboro. Oh my goodness, that was a terrible lag spike. Jeez, oh man. Dropping frames like crazy there. Wow. All right. Let's hope it just goes away on its own. I hope, I pray that. 
when I get these videos uploaded because honestly it's an internet thing now as well um, but yeah the internet way slower so it takes a lot longer for me to upload and process these YouTube videos so having to leave my computer on and stuff and it's just not good at all and I think that might be a part of why we're experiencing frame drops here it's just having those videos upload in the background and having my computer on for extended periods of time it's just not liking that bit of an overload as we we've got three row <laughs> two and a half rows of three wide for about last back there as Chris Mack gets up into the outside wall the last cars on the track had two rows of three wide and a car sandwiched in between those rows as well nose to tail almost bump drafting Daytona and Talladega style just shows how aggressive these guys are getting tonight especially on these starts and restarts as Oh, Bobby Hutchins is your new race leader. Sorry for not mentioning that. But uh, L.W. Miller, still faster than that 14 car. He's right behind him, and he got a huge run through turns one and two, trying to run him down and make that pass. 36, clearly faster. The 14 doing everything he can to hang on. And now... Here we go, off turn two yet again as we come to 15 to go this time by. If that 14 car wants to hang on to that lead, he'll have to really fight for it and just kind of hope, he's got to hope the uh, 86 gets there as well, or excuse me, 83 of Tim Brown. He's reeling in that 36 car. 36 a little slow on this last restart, getting up to speed and allowing Tim Brown to get up into the mix and 14 of Hutchins wants Brown to get up there and fight Miller so he can create a bit of a gap but that's not going to happen the 36 is coming back with another run down the back straight away he's not going to get close enough to make that move in a 3 and 4 but definitely gained a lot of ground as we come off turns 1 and 2 yet again or 3 and 4 yet again rather down the front straight away and into 1 and 2 36 keeps pulling up to the rear bumper, getting close, and just not being able to make the move. L.W. Miller doing everything he can to try and get up there and win this race. Doesn't want to have it taken away from him by a late crash in this event, but it very well could happen as we're approaching 11 to go this time by. Laps clicking off quickly as the race starts to wind down now. For our frame drop issues, I apologize. Look at is that Gene. Yeah, it's Gene Pack back there running higher, higher up on the racetrack, trying different lines to see what'll work, what won't work through these corners now finally gets back in line. But he did try to peek to the outside of that 83 of a lap or. Uh, about a lap ago to see if he could get a run through three and four just didn't get a big enough run for his liking a little bit of side by side back here as well Eric Beers gets clear of Donnie Leah who's falling back and now Eddie Flimke Jr. It's a run on Eric Beers. He's going to get to his inside here off turn number four. Jerry Marquis getting past the 18 of Leah. Donnie Leah is going to get up there into the outside wall. That's going to hurt him even more in this race. Laps are winding down here from North Wilkesboro. Time is running out for L.W. Miller to retake the lead. Miller is right there to 
Wynn is in his grasp, but he can't seem to get a big enough run to make that move. The, eight, the 14 slips up the racetrack just a little bit through three and four. That might have been the opening he needed. He's going to try and force that 14 car, no mistake here. Runs a slightly higher line through one and two. Didn't work for him. Trying to figure out what do I need to get, do to get past. The 14 is not going to give up the bottom again. What does he have to do to get by the 14 machine? Off of turn number four. Here comes Tim Brown looking to the inside. He's going to have to play defense. Brown is there. And he's going to clear the 36 of LW Miller. Now with the run down the back straight away. He gained quite a bit of ground on the 14. And pulled away from the 36 quite a bit as well. Tim Brown trying to get up there and steal one here from North Wilkesboro. He's got to run down the front stretch. Down in the one and two yet again. Less than five laps to go here from the borough. Down the back straightaway again. It'll be three to go at the line this time. Bye. Tim Brown got to the rear bumper. Couldn't do anything with it. He's losing ground. Here comes the 31 looking underneath that 36 machine. Is he going to be able to get there? Not quite. Battle for second keeps raging on. But look at the run Tim Brown got through turns three and four. Two laps to go. Bobby Hutchins. It seems as Gene Pack slams the outside wall back there. It seemed almost impossible for Hutchins to hang on for this long with so many faster cars behind him. But he's got one lap to go. And here comes Tim Brown that was inside. May have spoken too soon. Hutchins doing everything he can to defend. Brown gets to run through the corner. He's going to clear him off turn two. And now Hutchins falling back. He might lose P, uh, P2 as well. Wrecking in the back. One car spun is Frank Fleming. Here comes Tim Brown. No win at North Wilkesboro. He steals one late. Only led one lap this entire race. And it was the final lap for Tim Brown. To be victorious. L.W. Miller was the fastest car early on. Tim Brown had the second fastest lap time in the race. L.W. Miller had the fastest lap in the race. Just couldn't hang on. On that late restart. The 14 of Bobby Hutchins got by him. And it looked like Hutchins may have been the guy to beat. He was way slower than everyone else. But he was doing a great job defending. But... He allowed the 83 to get the run and get to the inside, and that was the deciding factor on the final lap. Wow. Oh, excuse me. Wow. I can't believe what we just watched. That was a great race and a great finish. I hope y'all enjoyed that as much as I did. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. I hope to see y'all next time. Until then, 